everyone, my name's Hannah and welcome to the cocktail class. We know you're all at home and you probably want something to do when you can't come to physical classes, so we thought we'd do a little something for you online. So we're going to be doing five cocktails today. We're going for a bit of a sweet shop theme since it's just been Valentine's Day, so we've got some sweet and chocolate theme for you. So first of all, we've got the fizzy bubblegum, then we've got the jelly baby, a vimto daiquiri, a drumstick and a chocolate martini. Okay, so the first cocktail we're going to make is the Jelly Baby. Now I'm starting with this one because it's quite an easy one. It's literally just four ingredients. So we'll start off with vodka, arches, blackcurrant cordial, and then you finish with lemonade. Okay, so for this one you need a Boston shaker. You could do it without for this one, but it's, it's better with one. So you're gonna start by popping some ice in the Boston shaker. And then we're going to pop in one shot of arches, one shot of vodka, and then one shot of blackcurrant cordial. Then once you've got your three ingredients in, you're going to pop the glass on top, give it a whack, do a quick test shot to make sure it's not going to go all over your shoulder, and then give it a shake. Once it's cold enough to hurt your hands, grab yourself a glass. Today I'm using a Capri glass. Then you're going to use the palm of your hand to hit the edge of the, of the Boston shaker. Sometimes it takes a few goes. There we go. Then you're going to fill your glass with ice. Make it as full as you possibly can. Then you're going to strain in your mixture. And then top off with the lemonade. You're then going to finish off by popping a straw in and then decorating with some sweets. Because I had a bit of a brain fart, I forgot to get jelly babies, so today we are using a gummy bat and a watermelon. Next up is the drumstick. So this one has a few more ingredients, but it still requires a Boston shaker. So we get, for this we are having vanilla vodka. Obviously, Ciroc is quite an expensive brand, so you can use Absolute, or alternatively, you can just use normal vodka and then add in some vanilla syrup. Next is the raspberry syrup, cranberry juice, lemon juice, and lemonade to finish. So, once again, you get your Boston shaker, fill it with ice, and then we're going to start by adding in two shots of the vanilla vodka. Then one shot of the raspberry syrup, two shots of the cranberry juice, and then finally a dash of the lemon juice. So once again, pop your thing on, give it a whack, do your test shake. Hold enough to hurt my hands, therefore it's ready. Give it a whack with your heel. Sometimes it takes a couple of times to find the sweet spot. Then we're going to get your glass. Fill it up with ice. Strain in your mixture. Top the glass off with lemonade. To decorate, add in a straw. Give it a bit of a stir if you want to mix the lemonade in. Finalize it with a drumstick. So the third one we're going to be doing is the fizzy bubble gum. Now this one doesn't involve any shaking so you don't need a Boston shaker. Instead you'll be stirring and doing some layering using crushed ice. So what we're going to be using for this one is vodka and blue balls for your alcohol. Then we're going to be using sweet and sour mix. Now if you can't find any of that then you can use lime juice and lemon juice as a substitute. Then you need some bubble gum syrup some grenadine and then you'll be adding a dash of lemonade. So first of all you want to grab your glass. Personally I'm using a sundae glass but you can use whatever glass you want as long as it's you know got some height to it. And then we're going to start by adding in a shot of vodka and a shot of blue balls. This is followed by half a shot of the sweet and sour mix a full shot of the bubble gum and then finally you want to add a little dash 
of the lemonade. Just enough to give it a bit of fizz. Then you want to give it a stir, just make sure all the ingredients are mixed. Then we're gonna be adding in the crushed ice. Make sure you don't get any water in there as well, you just want the ice. Fill it right to the top, and then finally, we get the grenadine. Gonna add in a full shot. And you're going to, using your spoon, you're going to drizzle it over the ice slowly. see the different layers and then you're going to top this off with some bubblegum sweets. Cocktail number four is the Vimto Daiquiri. Now for this one we're not stirring, we're not shaking, we're using a blender. So for this one alcohol wise we are going to be using Malibu and Bacardi and then this is going to be mixed with ice, frozen berries, Vimto squash, and some cranberry juice. We're gonna start off with our liquids. So we're gonna start with a shot of Bacardi and a shot of Malibu. Then we're gonna add in two shots of the Vimto squash, followed by two shots of the cranberry juice. We're gonna follow this up with a scoop of the frozen berries and then a scoop of ice. Once you've got all your ingredients in there, we're gonna blend it. Boom, it's blended. So once it's all blended, grab yourself a glass. I myself am using a gin glass. Look how fancy this is. I found these today in the venue and oh my gosh. So we're gonna pour it all in. If you've done it right, it should be a bit slushy. If when you get it, it's a bit too solid to pour, add in a tiny, a little bit more cranberry juice and give it a mix, and it'll pour a lot easier. Then, once it's done, we're gonna hit decorate with some Vimto Sweet. Boom, ah, boom, boom, and it's done. Our final cocktail today is the chocolate martini. So for this one, you need Tea Maria, Cacao Brown or White, they're both pretty chocolatey, milk, and chocolate sauce. So you can start off with your Boston shaker. Put your ice in. Then we're gonna start off with one shot of the Tea Maria. Then we're gonna go for two shots of the Cacao Brown followed by four shots of milk and finally some chocolate sauce. Then just as before, pop your glass on, give it a whack, do your taste test, taste test, shake test and then you give it a shake. There we go. Once it's cold enough to see the frost, give it a whack and there you go. So you're going to grab your martini glass and then you're going to strain into the glass. And then to decorate, I'm going to add a few, if they don't sink, mine have sunk, but you can add chocolate chips to give it a bit of decoration on top. So there you have it guys, those were all five cocktails. I really hope you enjoyed watching and please, if you make any of these yourself at home, make sure you post it on social media and tag Staffs Union and LRV and Burp because we really want to see what you guys make. I hope you guys are staying safe at home and remember, Proud to be Staffs nominations have just opened up so if anyone has impacted your university experience for the better, like your lecturers, your friends, your coaches, your committee, whoever, make sure you go online and nominate them.